Before I start this video, I would like to wish you every happiness this holiday season and throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas! Show and don't tell is a common phrase used among screenwriters, filmmakers, and more. But what if we show and tell? Let's see how it's done effectively. To achieve a well-written dialogue, you first need to know how much you would actually need. Ask yourself, do I really need dialogue here, or could I replace it with a picture instead? The crossing T technique. This is done by breaking down your dialogue with some descriptions in between to make it less stressful for your eyes to read. Keep your dialogue as minimal as possible. This could be done by listing all the lines of your main characters and start counting their words and sentences. Remember, if you're going to show and tell, you better make your words count. Your dialogue should serve a purpose whether that's to inform, propel the story, reveal the character, create conflict, or trigger emotions. If you don't already know your character, chances are you're going to make them sound unreliable, unrealistic, and all the same. The next point is to do your research. To write the talk, you need to listen to the talk. Like any music, dialogue needs rhythm. The monsters are all missing and the nightmares can't be found And in their place there seems to be good feeling all around Instead of screams I swear I can hear music in the air The smell of cakes and pies are absolutely everywhere 